Good morning. It's called a gift closet. If you've ever had to run out to buy a last minute gift, like for say a coworker's birthday or your kid's teacher's birthday or teacher's day, you may be spending more money than you would have to normally, but you could save yourself a lot of trouble and money by shopping now. From teacher appreciation gifts to presents for a party, we've all rushed out last minute to grab something to give, but the couponing site southernsavers.com says creating a gift closet will stop that and start saving you money. Here's how it works. Think about the occasions in which you typically need gifts, then stock up during sales or a clearance. For instance, thank you presents for teachers. If there's a deal on gift cards, coffee, or other small items, think about buying them and then setting them aside for the end of the year. Do the same for birthday parties. When you find a toy on sale and think it could make a great present, go ahead and get it. Southern Savers says January is a great time to find deals on toys. You can also stock up on gifts for graduation, housewarming, baby showers, and presents for your own kids. The website says buying now will save you later. While some may be against the idea of re-gifting, it can help save money too. If you get a gift that's not your taste, put a sticky note on it with the name of the person who gave it to you so you won't forget. And never re-gift within the same circle of friends to avoid hurting somebody's feelings if they go, hey, that was the thing that I gave you and you gave it to her.